Hello everyone and welcome back to Dr. Care's Amy's Pet Clinic and we have Jack here helping us out with those kittens that we are actually taking care of since their mother princess almost died giving birth to them last time. Yeah, talk about drama and just to add a little bit more drama, Jack has shown up and he was our former boss and he ended up becoming our friend last time we were with Amy in her last game and uh, we helped him out with the animal shelter. I always like the suspicion that he's actually married because he never made any moves on Amy, but I'm beginning to think that things are about to go in a brand new direction. So let's carry on. So how's it been running your very own pet clinic? It's been amazing and terrifying and busy, but mostly amazing. Makes sense. I bet you're making a big difference here in Snugford. How about you? How's the positive pet clinic? That's actually why I'm here. I wanted to talk to you about... Oh, there's somebody else coming! It's Crystal and Fufu! Amy, your favorite person in the whole wide world, is here to sweep you off your feet. Me! I love Crystal's personality. Normally I would find people like that so grating to be around, but she's so funny, you guys! I just love it! Well, well, well. Looks like someone else got to you first. No, it's nothing like that. Amy looks so ready for it to be something like that. Amy, you have a glass face, as they say. Your emotions are on your sleeve, as they say. Jack was just helping me with the kittens. In that case, Jack can watch at the clinic while we have us some girl time. Let's go, sunshine, and thanks, Jack. <laughs> I love how what? I can't believe Amy agreed to that. I can't really believe Jack agreed to that. Jack, are you running the clinic? What is happening? All right, well, let's see. We can do better ultrasounds with the ultrasound tool shelf, which will make pets comfortable and increase their mood while they are getting their ultrasounds. We could finally organize those toys. They're just in these really, like, they look like a dog peed on them, to be blunt, cardboard boxes right now. So it would be nice to put them in something more sanitary. Or we could go ahead and we can upgrade the deluxe counters so that customers will leave bigger tips. Does that mean we can get that poor gold Goldfish, a new tank. It they don't belong in bowls. I hope so. Let's let's err on the side of maybe a better. Eh, eh. I don't notice a difference. Fooey. All right, but well, well Fooey or like Foo Foo. Wait, the kittens are like roaming around and missing. They were just born last night. We have weeks before we should have to worry about that. Ah well. Also, what the heck is this thing? What is this? It's an eye slider. Move the slider to examine the pet's, the patient's eyes and click on all irregularities. What on earth? We're trying to help with puppy eyes now? <gasps> That's amazing! Wow! We are really like much more hands-on than the last game very early on, which makes sense. Oh no, and now Lisa's not here. It must be her day off. One, two, three, please. Uh, there we go. And this man wants a hamster wheel. Oh my gosh, and we're about to have an ultrasound? Are there more? Oh no, there's a kitten! Oh my gosh, you mean they're just gonna be roaming around the area like this? I'm not ready for this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm not ready! I'm not ready! <laughs> okay, go Newton, go! Um, okay, where is the other kittens? Oh, there's Carl the mouse! Now I'm like panicking. Wait, I heard a meow. Oh my gosh, you guys, help me find these kittens. Newton, uh, okay, guinea pig. You have a little bit of a fever, little guinea pig. Okay, you come over here, Newton. Um, I need it. Okay, Newton's getting the tips for... Okay, and this bunny needs an eye exam. Oh, this is, this is so much. Okay, two irregularities to locate. And... Oh, there's another kitten! Oh my gosh, you're kidding me. You're kidding me, right? I have to find all of them. There's six all together. I've only found three. I, this feels like my Warrior Cat series all over again. The stress of where are the kittens? Dun dun dun. All right, let's go ahead. Oh, there's one. Grab her, Jack. Oh, thank goodness we got one. They do meow a lot. This is like pretty young for that too. Oh, I didn't even do that in the right order. I was so distracted. All right, one, two, three treats. Newt needs to come and entertain this gentleman. Uh, oh my gosh. I don't know what I'm treating, but its heart needs a lot of help. This puppers, oh puppers! Hang in there puppers, your poor little heart. Okay, I hear the kittens, but I don't see the kittens. Where? Where are the kittens? Where are the kittens? Oh my gosh, where is the kitten? 
I don't see it. Oh no, oh no! There's so much going on! Okay, Newton, hang on. Where are the kittens? I think I, oh, there's a kitten! Okay, I think I missed a kitten. Do we still have time to find it? I really hope we still have time to find it. I, I don't think Jack wants to admit that he lost the kittens. How did I pick up these tweezers? I don't need these tweezers. Wait, I hear a kitten. I see it! Oh, thank goodness! I was gonna have a heart attack if we lost the kittens and they were like permanently missing. I just need to like have a lie down right now. Where is Lisa? She could be helping. Like I'm not, I don't say that aggressively. Just man, I could use her help. You know what I mean? All right, let's go ahead. Is this bunny pregnant? <gasps> this bunny's pregnant! One baby, two baby, three baby bunnies! Oh my gosh, and this woman, of course, wants the one toy that we're out of stock of. Uh, let's see if I can get that for her. This man wants to donate. There we go. Why is this man standing here? Oh, he has an animal. Who needs help? I'm sorry, sir. Bring her on over. All right, probably. Is it a pregnant cat? We're about to find out. No, it needs a little heart examination. I can't blame you for being upset about that, sir. I mean, if my animal needed a heart exam, I'd be like, hey, Zip quick, please, vet person. All right, let's go ahead and check both of these people out. Oh, holy days, they leave huge tips if you upgrade that countertop. My goodness, and Newton is doing all of these cool tricks so that he can help get donations for actually Jack. Uh, Jack is the one who runs the animal shelter. So it all comes full circle and we found all the kittens. Oh, oh hey, where are you taking me? You'll see, it's a surprise. Speaking of surprises, how's Jack? Oh my goodness. Oh, I bet he wants to ask you on a date. That would be exciting. Jack, ask me out. No way. He's too, too handsome, shy, mysterious. I vote married, personally. Anyway, enough about boys. Here we are, surprise. Oh my, you're going to be so popular. Trust me, it's good marketing. Crystal, you have a natural, like a natural knack for this. I am really impressed. I'm not so sure about that. S Samantha, oh, this is that woman. This is that girl who shoved us in the dirt and when we were in elementary school. The drama kicks it up another notch. I, I need to go back to the clinic. Oh, we're getting flashbacks of getting beaten up by this terrible woman. Aw, sorry, Crystal. Well, that didn't go quite as planned. What happened? I have no idea. I'm sorry, ladies. If it was me, I would not have, like, I would have tried, but I don't know. Maybe this is, like, terrible. Is this, like, an X or something? Why is Samantha such a bad memory? Only bonus points count towards the score. Now, that would be a good challenge, but I want to see what pretty shook up like, look, I understand having a bully, trust me, in elementary school and high school, but I'm really confused why it had such an extreme effect. Samantha's back in town, Newton. What do I do? Back in town. Newton, that's not helpful. Amy, are you okay? Come on, Crystal probably, like, uh, uh, I'm being too hard on Amy. I have no idea how bad Samantha is. I can take the billboard down if you don't like it. No, no, the billboard was so nice. Thank you. I just, I've been a little overwhelmed. Well, well, we're here for you, Amy. We're here to help. And truly, they are. Like, if we didn't have this team, I don't think this place would be able to hold itself together. And Jack's here, too. So there's something to smile about, huh? <laughs> that is, she's so easily distracted by romance, Amy. Hey, how's Princess? She's doing great. Her owner came by to take her home. Nice work, Amy. Anyway, Fufu and I have places to be. See you later. Oh, Crystal. I wish I could like take you out for like dinner or something to apologize. I, I feel a little badly. Uh, all right, let's carry on. Oh, we have new collars. And we need to clean the clinic up. Oh, I've got this. Jack apparently left the place a mess, but I think he's used to having more help to do with all this for him. So I will forgive him this time. Uh, all right. Oh, and the little guinea pig needs a heart checkup. I'm coming. And this woman's willing to donate. Come on, Newton. 
Oops. Oh my gosh, this guinea pig really needs a heart checkup. Are you okay, little guy? Like, are you like 18 million years old? Okay, good. Newton did the tricks. We'll go ahead and give this man his toys. Check everybody out. Good luck, little guinea pig. Oh, we need to check this kitty's eyes for cataracts. Yeah, do you get it? Cataracts? Oh my gosh, I am very sorry about that. Okay, there we go. All right, we'll go ahead and check this man out. Hopefully he'll want to donate as well. We'll grab some treats. No, I guess I'm not sure if they want to donate if they come with an animal, because I think they need to leave with the animal. So I think it's just people who come to the counter that might stop to donate now that I think about it. All right, he wants some flea and tick information. Always a great idea, always important. You can prevent so many diseases and so much harm to your animals by doing proper flea and tick medicines. And unfortunately, that means the expensive ones. The cheap things rarely work with that. All right, pregnant puppers! I'm going, we got this. <gasps> Look at the puppies. Oh, that's so exciting. Congratulations, mama to be. All right, we'll go ahead and share that. Go ahead and give those. Nice, nice. Ah, I'm feeling pretty confident, but I'm actually really concerned about Amy. Like, again, don't get me wrong. I have had some bullies and I've got some people that I would be ridiculously upset to see again, but I don't know. Her reactions are just so strong. Oh, hey, Carl. Every time that it sort of makes me worry about her. Like, I don't know, did Samantha like, kill our first pet or something. It just seems like it's like that level of intensity. But then again, Amy does tend to be very easily swayed by stress, uh, which now that I think about it is not the best thing to be as a vet. But we've seen this happen to her before too. Things that may seem very clear and obvious to us, she gets very, very, very stressed about. Hmm. So is it confronting a bully or something more? We'll find out. Newton. Do some more tricks, we aren't up on our tips yet. All right, whoops, I did not need that toy, that's fine. I think Amy would be the kind of person to have like just a, a spare dog toy in her pockets at all times. All right, let's get Newton's trick done and come see this puppy. <gasps> One puppy, two puppy, three puppy. Oh, that's so exciting, they're looking great. Congratulations, mama to be. All right, we'll go ahead and check this person out. We're already over on three stars, so I'm not too worried about things. And we found Carl. All right, see Amy, there are things to smile about. You're handling this just fine. Oh, and there we go. We've almost even filled up on our donations. Uh oh, there we go. Two, not bad. That bunny's eyes are not as bad as you might worry they could be. All right, there we go. Just one guy left to check out. What's he gonna want? Just a feather duster. There you go, buddy. All right, guys. Oh, wait, he wants to donate. Come on, Newton. Last trick of the day. There you go, buddy. And now we have more donations for the Snugford Animal Shelter. Huzzah! Now, let's get to the bottom of why Amy is acting like this. Sam, stop! Sam! I need to focus on the clinic, not on the past. I'm not doing so great with this whole running a business thing, am I? Uh, what makes you say that, Amy? Jeez, now I gotta wonder where her confidence... Is this the root of it? Is this why she has confidence issues? Is it your fault, Sam? Because if so, you and I need to have some words. Doing great. There you go, Newton. I can't fail at this. I can't disappoint Grandpa. And Lisa's depending on me too. Now that would be very stressful to have my best friend be like my employee. Ooh, that's bad news bears. What if they think I'm not good enough? You're, you like Jack, don't you, Newton? We are a good team. I wish Jack could work here with me. But I couldn't ask that of him. He has a life in the city. Well, you know, actually running this as like the doctor part of things by yourself must be very stressful. Why would he ever want to move here? <laughs> Newton! That's it, no more biscuits for you. Okay, everybody's trying to set them up. So either it's really obvious and gonna work or there's some dramatic twist coming. 
Tomorrow, I'm going to ask Jack if he'd like to work with me. I think Jack's engaged to Samantha. That is my guess, my friends. But we will have to find out just what is up with Jack next time as we uh, have a challenge to answer, answer Crystal's messages for a dinner date. And it may eventually lead us to preparing for Amy's elementary school. Wow, we're really, are, is the dinner date to go see a therapist? Because we're really about to go down memory lane. I totally forgot about that. But all right, guys, we will also see if we can visit December, our cat in the shelter, and spruce things up there for him. No pun intended, you know, December, in cold months, spruce. Uh, all right, I'll stop now. <laughs> but if you could, please leave a like for the wonderful kittens that we have now seen off to their home, and consider subscribing to join this and thousands more adventures. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Bye.